Meme Pop made it. We hope. <laughs> We're at some it says anyway. Texas Bee Supply, so I hope so. Hive. I've never. Oh, top bar hive set, I guess, is what they, they uh, call them. I don't know nothing about it. No. Got little feeder feeder lids. I just made mine yesterday. <laughs> oh, this is pretty cool. It's a no rust feeder cap. This is what a new one looks like. You want to grab some? No, it's really not. These are the internal feeders that I was mentioning in my video where you can put them down. Right. So you put the nectar down in this box and the bees can go down in here without drowning. And that's how you transport bees. This is fancy. What is this? This is a pro feeder. I've never seen anything like that. Have you seen one of these feeder boxes like this? It's a feeder box. That's pretty cool. Yeah. This is cool. This is a lid that you can just pop your mason jar on here and they can feed from the bottom and access it from inside their boxes. That's cool. You see here they've got this yellow on here. This is wax that they've brushed. So it helps the bees smell it and know that that's where they build their foundation. These are queen excluders, so the queen can't come up to um, the boxes where the honey's being being put, so there's no chance of eggs or brood being laid in the honey supers. Thank you. Pretty neat place. Yeah, Pop's got a brush and I got some gloves that actually fit. They're smalls. My gloves are giant. Made for giant fingers. <laughs> so, we're going to go around back. They told us to pull around the side to pick up our nuke boxes and Pop's is going to put them inside the truck and not in the back as he promised. So, let's let's just pray. Say a prayer. They don't escape. I think they'll be fine. Okay. Well, Do y'all have planes all the time? Change of plans. We can call and find out. We don't really need any today. These are everyone else's orders. Okay. All right, Bo, appreciate it. Save you guys. They got them sitting out everywhere. I some over here leaked out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want that box. No, thank you. I guess 
the good got this way. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, the bees are in the back because they've got good ventilation back there. It's not air time. Oh yeah, good ventilation and uh, we pops was thinking about putting them in the back seat, but then the gentleman loading them up said that they're could be a possibility that they escape, so we're gonna put them, we put them in the back. Uh, we only have like a 15 minute drive home, so they'll be fine back there anyway. But I was just talking to Pops. He got a nuke with a marked queen, and also I got a nuke with a marked queen, and I've never had a marked queen before. And what that means is they take the queen and they put a little marker on her back, so she's easy to spot when she's running around and sometimes it takes a while for you to find the queen if you're looking for her and uh, making sure she didn't fly off or get killed or something but yeah so I'm excited because it's my first my first hive to have a marked queen do you like do you prefer marked queens yeah I do because uh, they're easy to find yeah easy to spot and uh, you know like that mark they have color, they're like the color code. Different colors for different years. Oh. But you know, unless you're changing them out, it's not really that important, you know what I'm saying? Right. If you change them out like every two years, every year, then next year's queens will have a different color. Yeah. So you keep up how, how old she is, whatever. I'm not worried about that. Yeah. I just think it's gonna be cool just to spot her pretty quickly. Yeah, because but it's time to replace her. They normally replace them themselves. Yeah. You know. I don't know if he said, but did they put a feeder in there with them, or is it just straight? I, I don't know. I didn't even ask. I didn't ask. I think there probably would be a feeder in there. Yeah. Most Not, time there is. Yeah. Normally they have that one frame that's just plastic that they can go down in and get food while they're in that box. I've got. It. Depending on how many frames there is, there's either three or four frames of each. I guess. I've got four drone frames, drone cone, from another box. Oh, really? Laid out. <clears throat> I've had them in the ice box all year. And they're thawing out. I mean, they're not front. We just warm it up. And I've got two or three frames of honey that I didn't harvest. Freezer frozen, it's thawing out. And we're putting them on the outside edges. Oh, okay. So they'll have, so I probably won't put a feeder in there with them. Yeah. I, I did my sugar water yesterday, so I can just do yeah. that little yeah. internal feeder. Or not internal, but the little one that uh, you can pop on and off. So, we'll see how it goes. I see one bee. Mm. Take the blue box? Oh, sure. Okay. There you go. Leave the yellow one there. Some over there, but that's okay. Look, see what have happened? <laughs> see what happens? Okay, guys, we're back home, and uh, I just moved them over here in their nuke box by the house, and I'm going to just let them hang out for a little bit. Kind of see them moving around in there, kind of wanting to get out. I don't blame them. But they'll be okay in there for a little bit. They've got air. I could actually keep them in there for a few days if I wanted to. They've got food in there. Um, but I'm going to just let them kind of chill because they had a ride home in the back of a truck. And... Uh, yeah, so we're going to let them just hang out, calm down a little bit, and then when Buddy gets home, uh, I'll have him help me install these into their new hive. Well, we've got a little bit of an issue. Uh, Pops just called and said that he took his bees out of the, his, well, he opened up his nuke and he was going to check on the bees and put them in their new uh, hive, but... He called and said that he had quite a few dead bees in his box and that there was no feeder in there. And I've picked up 
quite a few nukes in my history of beekeeping and they've always had an internal feeder. So it's kind of concerning. I don't know how long they've been in that hive box without having access to water um, and nectar. I don't know how much honey they put in there with them. So I was going to wait for Buddy to get home to just help me with everything, but I think I'm gonna just do it myself and get them out of the box as quick as possible so that they can get food and uh, yeah, just, they need some space. So I'm gonna start, I guess I'm gonna start working on that now. Okay, I've got, I'm just gonna walk over to the hive again and got my smoker. Pop said he didn't have to uh, even suit up for his bees. Must be nice. Mine might be gentle, I don't know, but uh, I'm not going to take that. I'm not going to risk it. I do have my sugar water here. Maybe that's what that buzzing was. They, they smell my sugar water. My other two hives are a lot more active today. Uh, thank goodness the rain has held off. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start my smoker just in case the other hives start acting up. Okay, got my smoker going. I'm gonna go get my bees. I also need to find something I can plug up the hive with. Probably some grasses or something. So I want them to stay inside the hive for a few days. I don't want them to be able to just escape right away. So I look for something. I've got, I don't know if you can see or not, but I shoved some uh, grass down in that hive entrance. And uh, now we're just gonna put them in and see, uh, see how they do whenever I open them up. All right. So well, this came with five frames, and I'm glad I got my tool here because I'm going to need to break these apart, unfortunately. And I want to look for the queen while I'm in here, pulling these frames out. I'm going to try to go slow. And steady. Let's see if I can find her. She's supposed to be. Oh, I found her! Wow, first frame. Oh man, that's so cool. She's got a red dot on her. Man, I wish you guys could see. I don't know if you can or not. I really don't want to drop her. Maybe I could zoom in on her, but she's in there and she's got a red dot. How cool. Okay, I know she's in there, so I'm gonna put her down in here, gently. I'm glad that I saw her because now I know all the other bees will uh, start to come in here too not put up so much of a fight. Now these are very gentle bees. I will, I will say that. They are not aggressive. They're not trying to swarm me. If it weren't for my other hive, I probably could handle these without a suit. I know, 
I'm sorry. Pop said he had quite a few dead bees, but uh, I'm not seeing that I have that many in here. Oh no, this frame is busted. Hmm. That's not great. They still have some capped honey in here, which is good. That means they still have food. They weren't running low on food stores. I am a little concerned with this frame though, because this uh, side right here is broken off. Hmm. It's not gonna be ideal. But I'm just gonna have to work with it, I guess. Oh, I see larva. I'm going to show you as best I can. I'll take one of these frames out, it'll be easier. Some of this uh, comb was built on top of these other frames, so I'm just going to scrape it off because it can create a little bit of a mess later down the line. So this is just kind of hive maintenance here. I'm kind of going slow so I don't try not to bump into these uh, bees. Now these remaining bees, I'm just going to give them a good shake into the hive. Whoops.
And I might not get all of them, but they'll hang around the hive and smell their queen. I'm going to call that a success. Didn't have too many dead. Found the queen. Wasn't raining. All right. So that went pretty well, I thought. Like I said, I got a few bees buzzing around me, but I think that's from the other hives. And, uh, while I'm out here, I think I'm going to open up this big one here because they, they tend to beard a lot on the outside at, at in the afternoon. So there's a bunch of bees on the outside of the hive. And I'm just going to peek in the top and see if maybe they need another box. See if I need to add another box if they've ran out of room. So you can come watch me do that real quick. I'm just lightly smoking these over here just to let them know to go in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up this top board and just barely smoke under there. Because whatever bees are up top, it'll send them down. Let's see how they're doing. Just by looking in the top hole, I can see that uh, they've got honey all the way at the top. looking in here guys oh yeah let's get you guys another box they've drawn comb in every single one of them See if I can get some out so we can take a look. All right, how are we doing? This is some uncapped honey here. And they're building out comb on this side. There's a little bit of uncapped honey. So that tells me we need to add another box. They are full because they are filling up every square inch. So I might do that right now. I might put together, throw together a box. Hopefully I have one they can use. All right, lucky for me, I had an extra box with some frames. Now, they weren't. I mean, they're not brand new frames, and they're not the cleanest frames, but they will do. Got some, you know, a little bit of some dust in. Let me see if I can get one of these out so I can show you their condition. Hello. An old honey frame that we scraped and let the previous bees clean off. So they will clean this up even more and reuse it for what they see fit. So. I've got a box full of these, and uh, I'm just going to set this on top and let them get, get after it. Slowly add a box. Moving, guys. All right. 
wasn't too bad. Now they have a whole another box to fill. I think they'll be able to do that in no time. day so we got one more box on and some angry bees not entirely sure if the angry bees are coming from this hive I would have I would have guessed they would have been a lot more aggressive uh, with me messing with their honey if they were the aggressive hive I don't know if it's coming from that one over there I really don't know. Let me get the smoke out of their face. I'd like to give you guys a close-up of the hive so you can see them going in and out with their pollen legs because I think their pollen legs are like the cutest thing ever. So see if you can spot the ones with the little yellow legs flying in on the landing board and walking in. They're bringing in their pollen. hot in the suit. And uh, in the summertime, summer, summertime, working with bees, you have to work with them at like 9 a.m. or not at all, because uh, it's dangerous. Dangerous hot. So I'm sure I look a mess, but oh man. Gonna need, a, gonna need a shower. So, I am sure Buddy's happy. <laughs> I was able to handle that without him. I've done all the other nukes without him too, but uh, I don't know. It would have been, it's nice to have help. It's nice to have help, and um, you know, they're heavy, the boxes are heavy especially when they're full of honey. So, that's okay, got it done. Girl power. And um, use my new gloves I got. Those were awesome, because they actually fit my hands and they weren't getting stuck so much underneath the hive frames. And uh, Buddy ordered me a new suit today because I'm wearing a large and it's always just been kind of too big for me, but um, I'm gonna get me a better suit that's more breathable and that's smaller in size so I'm excited about that so anyway thanks for hanging out with me today installing the nuke and overall it went well I didn't get stung the trip was great it was super close by a brand new company pops and I've never heard of or used before so I'm sure we'll be going back to them for more supplies and more bees in the future Especially if I have to requeen that really aggressive hive. So we'll have to see about that. Maybe I can just get a queen from them. But uh, I hope you guys have a great day. And thanks for hanging out with me at the Dimmon Homestead. And we will catch you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>